Buck is walking so fast this morning. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, my big boy. He's so beautiful. Look at you. Look at my beautiful boy. You ready? Look, I got apples and peanuts. Come on. Guys, it is chilly this morning. It's in the 50s, which is fine. I like it. I'm not complaining. I'm not. I'm actually not complaining. It's nice out. But I'm like, wow, the weather's dropped a lot. But then I heard by the end of this week, it's supposed to be in the 80s again. So this weather's going to be going up and down, up and down, I guess, until fall comes. You ready? Come on. I got apples and peanuts for you. All right, so Buck is here. His antlers are nice and clean. He's been doing a good job cleaning them. He just has a little bit more of the back to clean up. He has to rub. He still has a little bit of velvet on that one behind it. But it is cold outside, I have to say. I mean, I'm wearing, the, like, I'm wearing my husband's sweater. I figured I'd start wearing my, husband, my husband's sweater to come out. So if my husband ever wears this sweater, maybe... You know, I'll have my scent on him. Buck won't be scared of him if he sees him. <laughs> Not that Buck really sees him much, but. Right? When daddy's sweater? You don't even know, Buck. Then when daddy's sweater. Yeah, so Buck is having his Sunday morning breakfast. I came out here at 9 a.m. I want to start coming out early, trying to get him to come earlier, so instead of later. You know, it would be nice if he starts coming early. You know what's funny? When I first, first started feeding Buck, like the first two years, Buck used to come show up at 9 o'clock on the dot every morning. Like on his own, he used to show up. That was like our scheduled time was 9 a.m. Then throughout the years, by the third year, he started showing up at like 10, 1030. So I was like, all right. So then I started showing up outside at 10, 1030 a.m. Now I'm trying to switch it to go back to 9 a.m., 930. I just want to laugh. I've been collecting acorns. I actually have some in my pocket right now. This is what I collected of acorns. I got to go collect them more and throw it in the bucket. I have a bucket in front of my porch. It's his, it's his old water bucket. I kept it. So I could store all the acorns in it for him. So I didn't get rid of it, his old water bucket. So I've been collecting acorns. I'm not going to give it to him yet because I want to get a nice amount first, you know. I want to stock up on a nice good amount and then I'll give it to him. But the leaves are starting to fall a little bit. Did you just drop that on my side? Yes, you did. Okay, I have to be careful how I bent down now because his antlers are pointy. I don't want those going into my head. <laughs> Let me just push everything over for you so it'll be easier. He's not making me push it. He's keeping his face in the bowl. Can I? Oh, okay, now I could. Yeah, if I push it this way, it'll be easier for him to eat it. I know it's windy, baby. It's really windy, too, this morning, guys. Windy and cool. I'm going to say cool. It's not cold. I mean, it's in the 50s. I'm not going to lie. It's a little chilly out. But it's not freezing cold. It's not like, oh, my God, I'm so freezing. It's not like that. But it is in the 50s. It's like 55 degrees this morning. I was looking. I was like, holy moly. And in my house, when I woke up in my living room, it felt like the AC was, like, pumping. It was on. It wasn't even on. It was off. I had it off. Because we don't put the AC on in the morning. I only put it on in the afternoon. If it gets really hot outside, it starts warming up the inside of my of my house, then I'll put it on. Yeah. Yeah. What happens? Okay. It's wind, Buck. It's wind. Don't be scared of wind. We go through this all the time. Yeah, Buck hates wind. Like when it gets really windy like this, he does not like it. He must pick up all sorts of scents, I'm thinking that it messes with his scent, like, you know, picking up a certain scent, like he's probably can't focus on a specific scent that he tries to focus on. I think that's why he freaks out like that. Cause Buck always acts like very jittery. Like when it's really windy out, he acts very like, you know, he's on high alert, looking around, like he's not calm. I noticed that being around him for four years, that it, windy days, Buck does not like windy days. This is so cute. This is a squirrel and a dove eating together. I threw a seeded bread. I threw it over the hill. I don't throw it over here no more. 
Because honestly, guys, it was attracting ratatouilles to come really close to the spot over here. So I was like, let me start throwing the bread over the hill, like, you know, over this hill right here. So I started throwing it down. Did I make it fall, like, down the hill? So if the ratatouilles want, they could just go get it down there. And then the squirrels, they still grab it anyway. So I, the squirrel that's eating corn right now, right before I started recording, actually had a piece of bread in his mouth, his or hers mouth. So that's my new thing, start throwing the bread over the hill because it started attracting ratatouilles, like the forest ratatouilles. What the hell is that? Oh, it's branches falling off the trees, wow. There was branches over there in the tree over there. They were falling off, probably dead branches. Oh, it's so windy, it's making it cold being like windy. I feel like I, I could have even came out with my jacket this morning. I could have put a jacket on to be more comfortable. Because I'm wearing a sweater and I'm still just a little cold. A little bit. Not much. I gotta start wearing my winter hat. <laughs> my knitted hat when I come out in the mornings. Just warm up my ears and I'm fine. I'll be good. But it smells so good. The air. It's like fresh air. It's like, ah. Uh, and there's no bugs at all. I don't see no mosquitoes. No horse flies. Bothering Buck. Oh my god. Buck is hanging out with a chipmunk that's alvin the one that lives on my side he's running around right now collecting peanuts and corn because i threw a handful of peanuts on the ground too and corn if they want to see the bread they're gonna have to go over the hill to go get it because i don't want to throw anything close by here like i said oh now you got a squirrel and a chipmunk eating together i see i like seeing this like when i see the things like this i'm like okay these are all getting along that's what i like to see but sometimes the little ones, they get into it with each other. And I'm like, really? I'm like, can we all just get along? Yeah, that was Alvin. He just ran on my side. That's a chipmunk. So the chipmunk I've been seeing, I don't know what happened to Simon, guys. The chipmunk that lives on the right side. Remember the one that used to run straight there and used to run back? I don't know what happened to that chipmunk. I haven't seen it. I'm so sad because I haven't seen him. I know for a fact, like, you know, the chipmunk that comes every morning now is the one that lives on my side. Unless that's Simon and he changed his house to my side instead of Buck's side. I don't know. It could be. Because the one that lives on my side, he's very confident and has the courage to come next to me. And Simon that time had the courage to come next to me. So it could be that Simon did change his spot. And he moved on my side. <laughs> but I don't know. I named the one that, that's on my side. I named it Alvin. Because I was like, alright, you're a different chipmunk. But I don't know what happened to Simon. Usually the bunnies, when it starts getting colder out, you don't really see them much. So like Thumper, I know I'm not soon. I'm not going to see Thumper at all. Like even though I haven't seen Thumper, pretty soon I'm not going to see Thumper at all. Usually when it starts getting like winter cold, you don't see Thumper. I don't see Thumper for literally like all the winter months. I don't see Thumper at all. It's like a hit or miss with Thumper popping up. You know how I explain it to see Thumper? If any of my viewers, if you guys ever go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, like those stores, you know like when you find something you really, really like and you're like, oh my God. And it's like a hit or miss if you go there again to that you know the same store you go back to it to try to find it again like whatever you found that you really enjoyed or, or liked buying and then you don't see it you're like oh damn it's like a hit or a miss you know what i mean that's how it is with thumper it's like that that's how i could explain it with thumper it's like a hit or miss like you know there's times he shows up and then there's times he doesn't but the squirrels they show up every day the chipmunks show up every day buck of course He's my buddy. He's going to show up every day. I know, baby. The wind is freaking you out. At least he ate all his peanuts and his apples. I'm happy. His corn, even if he doesn't eat it all, like now, I know, like, he'll come back to eat it. But he'll eat it all. But his appetite soon is going to start, like, slowing down. It's not going to be so big, big anymore. For the apples and peanuts, yes, always. But for the corn, not so much. Like, eventually, he's going to start leaving corn behind, like, into the bucket. Like, he's not going to eat all of it, all of it. Oh, it's so windy. I put fresh water for the little one's bowls, and I cleaned it this morning. It's nice and clean. Buck has water. I put only a few ice cubes in Buck's water because it's really cool this morning, so I don't think his water is going to get warm anytime soon. Oh, 
it's cold. I'm cold right now, guys. I'm cold because I'm not like I'm not prepped for this weather yet. I put away all my summer clothes. I did do that a couple days ago. I left out a few tank tops. I said if it gets hot out, I'll have like a tank top to throw on. But I put most of my summer clothes. I put my bathing suits away, short pants. I'm not wearing those anymore. The weather is not, you know, summery like that to wear those anymore. Simon is back. Simon is over there. He's in between there. He's so cute. I swear I love chipmunks. They're the cutest thing. I told my husband, I was like, I want to become friends with a chipmunk. Like, and pet it. My husband's like, are you crazy? I'll bite you. Hold on, guys. I gotta zoom in for some. I see something red. Oh, those are berries, it looks like. I was gonna say, I see something red over there on the, on the plants. But it looks like berries. Probably wild berries, you know? Not berries that we could eat. Probably the animals could eat it, but we can't eat it. It's cold. It is cold this morning, but it's nice. I like it. It's not hot. There's no mosquitoes out, no bugs. Honestly, I don't even see one bug flying around right now. The only bugs I see, like when I look down over here, is like the roly polies. You know the roly polies? The ones like if you touch them, they turn into a ball. <laughs> Those. I don't know what, exactly what they're called, but I call them roly polies. That's the only bugs I've seen since I've been here this morning. And moths. I've been seeing like a moth, a moth, moth. Like the M-O-T-H, that. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. <laughs> moth, a moth, moth. Yeah, some words, guys, I don't pronounce good. Oh, if you tell me to pronounce all the states, the 50 states, you will laugh. One day I should do it to make you guys laugh. Because there's a state that I cannot pronounce good. My sister-in-law, my husband, they start cracking up when I say it. I'm like, really? I'm like, stop making fun of me. My husband's like, you're like an American immigrant. <laughs> because of the way I talk. I think it's because I grew up, you know, around old schoolers, like around my mother, my grandfather, and talking like them and growing up around them. So I pick up everything like them. I hear the bikers every Sunday in my neighborhood there's a whole bunch of bikers that like come down the road there's like literally like 10 of them riding the bikes all together nice right Buck you know them already Buck needs to sharpen up his points there see he still has velvet hanging on right there right there he still has velvet so he still has a little bit more rubbing to do to clean up his antlers really really good he's got a lot of rubbing but I'm sure he's going to be rubbing <laughs> for these, this past week, coming week. He's probably going to be rubbing it every day now. All right, everyone. I'm going to get going inside so my mother-in-law could go back home. Because usually she starts making the Sunday sauce, like, you know, early in the, like in, the, in the morning. So I don't want to keep her in my house too long where, you know, she can't get done her stuff. But she's got to get done. So I'm going to get going. I hope everybody has a great Sunday today. Me and Buck, we will be back for his dinner time, which will be this evening. Probably around 5 p.m. I'm going to feed him today. Depends whenever, once I get done myself eating dinner. then I already prep his dinner before I go next door by my, my mother-in-law's house. I literally have Buck's food prepped in my refrigerator. Then all I do is I come home, grab his food, the bucket, and I come back here. So I will be back later today. I hope everybody has a great day today. The weather's beautiful. Feels like fall. Feels like fall and a little bit of November. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm not complaining. There's no bugs, no mosquitoes. Usually I see a whole bunch of mosquitoes like over here. I don't see nothing. So I'm going to enjoy the weather. I'm going to take advantage and enjoy this weather that there's no mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, everyone. Ciao for now. Me and Buck will be back later.